Hello everybody, I'm making a video today to show everybody how to unlock their Fire TV or Fire Stick um, to Kodi 18, as well as downloading and installing the One Nation build uh, that makes it easy to watch movies, TVs, etc. Also how to put News 12 on. Before we get started, um, just letting you know this is a brand new Fire TV. There's no difference between the Fire Stick uh, way of doing this. Um, so this particular, uh, Fire TV has never been unlocked. So if you already have Kodi installed and you want to upgrade, then you can skip the first step that I'm about to do and then, uh, just follow along along. The other thing I just want to show you is on the remote, the button that I'm going to talk about is the menu button because we're going to use that to open some, uh, programs up. And the menu button is this button right here that's on the right. It's having a hard time focusing. Uh, right there on the right with the three lines. And then when I say home, that's going to be the home button. And when I say back, it's going to be that first button. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just shut my lights off just so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Echo, turn off basement lights. Okay. And let me just turn off the laundry lights. Echo, turn off laundry lights. Okay. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we want to allow developer uh, programs to be installed. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to scroll to the right and you're gonna to go to settings, pressing down, and then I'm gonna go over until I see devices. I'm gonna scroll down to developer options and these are both set to off. We're gonna turn both of them on. And then I'm just gonna choose turn on, which is on the left. After that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the back, back, and back again until I get to the home. Um, and then if you see on the, the top left, it's already highlighted on home. What I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and go to the left one time to the search button. And I'm gonna search for a program called Droid Admin. So it's D-R-O-I-D. And I already see that it's already listed, so I'm just going to go down and just highlight a Droid Admin, which is right there. When I do that, I'm just going to hit the Enter button again to install the application. Press it again to download it. And then right after that, it's going to go ahead and install. If this pops up, you can just press Got It. That's just coming up because this is a brand new Fire TV. So the next process is going to be just downloading and installing Kodi. Um, this is all going to depend on how fast your internet connection is. So um, if yours is faster than mine, you just have to wait. And if it's slower, then just pause this video. All right, so after this is done, I'm going to go ahead and choose Open. See on the bottom right where it says Ready to Launch? That's when you're going to want to hit that uh, that menu button that I showed you. It's all the way to the right. All right, this right here I'm just going to ignore because I'm going to have to redo it later on anyways. It's going to ask for a code. Now, the code that you're going to want to put in there is 80409018. And to be able to put that in there, you're just going to press the enter button one time, and it's going to bring up this. So again, that's going to be 80409018. Eight. And I'm going to choose next. Then I'm going to press the enter button again, and that should try connecting to that site. Now, when this comes up, you're just going to click the enter button to dismiss this. These right here are all different options. The option that you're going to want to pick is server one. If for whatever reason server one is not working, then you're going to do server two. And if server two is not working, then you're just out of luck, and I don't really know what to tell you. You're not going to use the working for build installs. We're not doing that. We're just doing server one. All right, when you click on that, it's going to immediately start downloading. You can tell from the green line that's going across. And again, this could be different in you know, whatever speed your internet is. After this is done, it says that it's completed. So I'm just going to hit the middle button again to open this. It's going to tell me a whole bunch of junk. I'm just going to press the down arrow key twice. That's going to bring me down to cancel, and then I'm going to go over one time to install. 
I'm going to press the middle button. Now, once this is completed, it's going to tell me that it's been downloaded and installed on the bottom right, and I can hit that menu button. And you're going to want to do that because what that does is it actually makes a shortcut to the beginning of your page, uh, your home page. There it is right there, ready to launch. So I'm just going to go ahead and press that button. And then it goes and opens this up. Now we're almost done already. Once this comes up, we're going to wait a second for a menu to pop up. Let's do a quick update. There we go. We're going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom to continue. And we're going to press the middle button. Once that's installed, that button right there that's highlighted says build, build menu. You're going to go ahead and click on build menu. You're going to just go ahead and choose OK. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down and we're going to try to do the first one, which is 18.0. Um, if the, again, server one doesn't work, go to server two. That doesn't work. Go to server three. And I don't really know about these other ones. So we're going to go ahead and do Cody 18.0 the Leela server one. All right, once we do that, you press the button one time. Sometimes if you have a fire stick, it might be it's a, it might be delayed like you didn't press it. Don't press your button twice. It remembers those buttons. And then as soon as the program actually does come up, it just goes crazy. So just don't do that. All right, you're gonna scroll down to standard install and we're gonna press the enter button again one time. So right now it looks like it's delayed. Fire sticks are gonna take even longer. After it comes up here, it's going to say, would you like to download it? You're going to go to the left one time to say, yes, download. And we're pressing the enter button. And now we're going to go ahead and wait. I'm going to let this go through live. I'm not going to pause the video. But um, again, yours might take longer. It might be faster. I've seen people's uh, download take a minute and 15 seconds. It's, it's, uh, it's good. My internet is from Optimum, and it's at 450 download. And this is the best I can do. The reason why I'm doing this video is there's a lot of people that's asking how to unlock their Fire TVs or Fire Sticks. And I've probably done about 20 to 25 of them in the last two or three days. And um, I figured if I just make this video, I don't have to do it for people anymore. And you notice I'm saying unlock. I'm not saying jailbroken. Jailbroken is a term that was created for iPhones and iPads and any Apple device. When people say that they're going to jailbreak their Fire Stick or Fire TV, um, they just sound like idiots. It's just the way it is. About halfway there now. What a lot of people are doing is they're using their fire TVs and fire sticks as their main source of entertainment as opposed to having cable or direct TV. Um, I'm actually going to probably do the same thing. I'm spending about $180 a month right now on DirecTV, and I barely watch TV as it is. And I don't get News 12 because I don't have cable vision. I just have cable vision for the internet. Um, and I'm spending another $130, $150 a month for internet alone. Um, I don't have cable vision TV. So this right here is going to allow me to have all the shows that I watch, which is not very much, but every show is out there. And also, I'll finally be able to watch uh, News 12, which is nice. And I'll save that DirecTV bill a month. 25 seconds left. All right, once this completes, now you notice how the TV got dim. It's because the, the, the Fire TV wants to go into like a screensaver. Just press the down arrow 
uh, on your that circle just press the down one don't press the enter button or any of the other six buttons because i can mess things up all right so after it downloads this is it installing so we're almost done All right, so now it's pretty much done. What you're gonna do, it's gonna ask me right now, would you like to force close? What you're gonna choose is force close, not reload. Um, so after you hit force close, it's gonna bring you back to this screen right here. You're gonna go ahead and press the home, the house button that's in the middle of your uh, remote. And now you're gonna see that one nation right there underneath your recent. That's gonna be your new coding. So go ahead and click on that. Now when this comes up for the very first time, give it a second, because if you're gonna notice on the top of the TV, it's gonna start doing some updates. So just go ahead and wait until the build menu list update is completed, because um, if not, it's just gonna mess you up. So just give it a second. So you're not just updating all the add-ons, it's gonna do this automatically for you every time you turn on um, the Fire TV. So it keeps everything up to date automatically. Not the build menu one, that, that only happens when you first set it up. So again, I'm not pressing any buttons, I'm just waiting. There it is right there. Again, a fire stick might take longer. The fire TVs are just a lot faster. So as soon as that's completed, the next thing that you're gonna do is I'm pressing the left button and I'm gonna go ahead and go to system. Because right now the TV's not calibrated at all. It's, it's really zoomed in. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the menu button for system. Then I'm gonna scroll down to system Again, right now I'm on display. I'm gonna go ahead and press the right mouse, uh, not right mouse button, excuse me, the right uh, button on the remote. And I'm gonna scroll down to calibration, to video calibration, and I'll press the enter button. Now, if you look to the left, that's an arrow, that little piece that's up in the top corner, and it's blue. So what you wanna do is you wanna just go ahead and keep on pressing the, the down button, and then bring it to the right. And what you wanna do is you wanna get that arrow where you can literally see the entire arrow. And what that's doing is calibrating your TV. So after I see the entire arrow, I'm gonna hit the enter button, and now it's gonna bring me down to the bottom one. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing, just in reverse, so I'm gonna go up, and then I'm gonna bring it over to the left. That's perfect. Press the enter button again, and I'm good. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the back button, and the back button again, and the back button again, and now I am in, um, the program. So what we're going to do real quick is I'm just going to show you how to do News 12. So I'm going to click on Add-ons. I'm going to press, I'm not click on that. I'm going to go to Add-ons. I'm going to go down one. And then I'm going to go to the left until I see Get More. I'm going to press the middle, middle button, the Enter button. And then I'm just going to simply scroll down to uh, News 12. There's a lot of different ones that you can go through here and look at it. There's uh, adult content on here that you can choose. Okay. So we're just looking for News 12, New York Times, News 12. So I'm gonna press the middle button. I'm gonna scroll down to install. And then right here, I'm gonna go ahead and, and go to the right. And then to the left where OK is uh, highlighted. And then I'm going to press the middle button. 
I'm going to give it a second. It says it's been installed. I'm going to go ahead and click on it again. And then I lied. I'm going to hit the back button real quick. I'm going to, yeah, there it is. I'm going to hit that menu button, that three line on the right. And I'm going to scroll down and say add to favorites and then press the middle button. After that's done, I'm going to keep on hitting the back button until I get back to here. Now, if I want to go ahead and see News 12, I can just go to Add-ons, scroll down to Favorites, press the button, and then I can just press News 12. And then I'm going to choose Long Island. The cool thing about uh, Long Island News, now the cool thing is, is I can watch it live by pressing News, or if I want to just see what's happening and just look at the video clips of what, you know, basically live is not really live. It just repeats itself over and over again. Here's all the stories that happened today, and I can just watch those particular stories. If I want to look at the Doppler radar, that's, that's you know, as current as could be. But again, if I hit Long Island News and press the uh, enter button, it downloads it. I think the sound happens first. Oh, no, this actually happened right away. And that's News 12 Live. And I don't, again, I don't have cable vision. All right, so I'm going to show you how to watch a, a movie real quick. So I'm just going to hit pause. I'm going to hit the back button. Back button again. Back button again. Now I'm going to scroll over to um, movies. I'm not going to press the middle button. and Instead, I'm going to go ahead and press the down button. And I'm going to go over to uh, placenta. I'm going to press the middle button there. And then here's all my movies that I can go ahead and, and look at. I can search for a movie. If I want to see what's in the theaters, um, what's new, I can search. So just for the sake of it, I'm just going to go ahead and hit, uh, uh, let's do genre. Say I want to watch a horror movie. You notice how much quicker this is than the old Cody. The old Cody, this little circle of death right here, I call it, would literally be for every single thing you do. So right now this is doing it because um, it's still updating, but it doesn't take that long. So let's say I want to go ahead and see, um, uh, I don't really know, I don't really care. Let's say I want to watch Cloverfield. I'm just going to hit the middle button one time. Notice how I pressed it and it's still delayed. That's okay. This will pop up. And what this is doing right now is it's searching everywhere for the movie. So there's a 1080p version, a 720p SD is standard definition. So you're just waiting for it to get to for it to complete. And then you're just going to choose the first one. If the first server doesn't work, it automatically will switch down to the second one, then the third one, then the fourth one until the movie actually works. So right now the first one says it works. Oh no, I didn't. That one didn't. Did it work? Yep, it worked. And now your movie's playing that quick in 1080p. So I'm just going to go ahead and just, I'm going to fast forward the movie real quick just to get into the movie. And there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this. I'm just going to go back real quick, back again. Now before you pick the movie, if you hit the menu button right here, you can go ahead and scroll down to information. And this will tell you about the movie. Tells you how much, you know, what the budget was, if that's what you care about. If you want to watch a preview, a trailer of the movie, you can do that. Um, you can do all that fun stuff. So I'm just going to go back real quick. Back, back. I'm just going to scroll over to TV shows. Same exact thing. I'm going to press the down button. And then I'm going to go to Placenta. And it's going to be a very similar uh, experience as far as how to find your TV shows. If you do find a TV show that you like that you watch quite often, go ahead and hit that menu button again and add to favorites. That way you can just go ahead and go right to your favorites right into the thing. So if I go into um, uh, let's see, most popular. And 
And let's say I like Grey's uh, Game of Thrones. I can menu it. Go ahead and say add to favorites. And now if I come in here the next day, I can just, instead of going to TV shows and searching for it again, I can just go right to uh, add-ons. Where is it? Add-ons. And then choose favorites. And there's Game of Thrones. So I can just literally just click right there. And it's going to do all those steps I just did and then bring me right to the seasons. Um, I'm not really, I don't watch Game of Thrones, so I don't know when the season was. Yeah, so the date is when the, the first show was released. If you see one that's red, that means that the show hasn't been released yet, so it's usually pretty up to date. All right, well, that concludes this uh, video. I hope this helped out. If it did help out, please uh, drop a comment. Go ahead and like my uh, my page, CompuFix LLC, and um, if it really helps you out, just write a review on uh, CompuFix. Appreciate it. God bless and uh, enjoy.